and to also give seeds back to those that are sowing and to bring forth the fullness of what he has for the earth. God is a giver, and he gives all the time. And he keeps on giving into your life and in my life. And as we give back to him, giving ourselves unto him in worship and allowing the glory of God to fill us with the power of his presence and soaking us in his life and in his love. And while we're in that presence, he puts his desire into your life and into your heart. And he begins to work that miracle and your workings and that giftings and those wonderful ministries that's in each one of us. It begins to explode in our lives. And you become that fruitful tree. Or that full, and in the life of our lives where that ugly briar patch was. He changes it to a beautiful myrtle tree. And he puts, takes away the thorns and he puts life and joy and strength within it. And he makes us to be a precious, valuable, wonderful gem or person in his hand, a vessel that he puts his glory in and fills us up that we might pour out unto him. There's not one person in here tonight, if you are saved, if you're washed in the blood of Jesus and you belong to him, there's giftings inside of you, whether you use them or not, they're there. And if you want to use them, if you stay in his presence, he will open it for you, the flow out of you, every one of us. And there's not only those giftings that are there to pour out of us to help us to be that effectual first of all that effectual worshiper of his but also a worker in his kingdom that will do great exploits in him as we walk with him there is not anything that you cannot do with Christ and in Christ as he anoints you he makes us to do what, he, with his life inside of us, his abilities and his, he causes us to be able to do what we could not do, to stand where we could not stand, and to give forth what we could not give forth. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand clap. <laughs> give me that. It's going to pour out of you. Lord, help me. Tonight, tonight, say tonight. I want to do something for this ministry. And we only have a few minutes. We've got 10 minutes to do this, so we're going to do it quickly. I need some runners. Hallelujah. God spoke to me this afternoon when I was praying. How many is here? 30? Yeah. There's 30 people in here tonight. Tonight, say, look, say tonight. 30 people in here tonight that will sow $100 in this ministry, into this ministry. Not my ministry, but into this ministry. And say with Brother Rush, Pastor Rush, I want to be a part of what God is doing right here. And in the renting of this place, isn't this a beautiful place? It's not free. I think you said it was what? About $700 a night. Is that right, Brother Russ? You don't remember? No, that was your other place. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but anyway, we can be a part of it. And God said that as we get involved in giving, that it's like the rain that comes and gets down into the ground. It causes that fruitfulness to come back. He's going to cause it to come back to you. For the 11 nights, about 3000 some dollars to, to do that. But there's 30 people in here tonight that will give an offering of $100 to be a blessing unto them. And I want you to raise your hands real quick like, hallelujah. Let everybody all over this auditorium raise your hand and say, I'm going to be a part 
I'm going to do and be what God has called me to do. Some of you cannot do 100, but you can do 50. Debbie's going to bring out those $50 envelopes. Come on, lift your hands tonight to give unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Good things are coming our way. Brother Andy, can you come here just a moment? Come on, lift your hands. Brother Andy, I met him when he was 15. He was 14 year old. I, I met him in Hong Kong, not Hong Kong, Singapore, and they had a youth meeting in Malaysia, and he was in that youth meeting mm -hmm. in Malaysia, and uh, God did some wonderful, wonderful things, and I'll tell you one of the things that God did in that youth meeting. We did three days of fasting in that meeting, and the name of that thing was power, praise, worship, power, praise, and worship. And on that third night that we finished, and all the, the, all the other group also was there, we came out, and uh, we was all in a line, and the, everybody was just kind of standing. We started singing a song. And these young people had just been in the glory of God. We had had a meeting that day, and they just fell standing straight up. And... Uh, Suddenly, as we started dancing before the Lord, there was a young person that was here that began to, weren't dancing at that time, just singing, began to roll, and they just rolled that way, back and forth. And Pastor Song Ming Ling was sitting over there with this horrid look on his face. And uh, I said, I went over to tell him, I said, it'll be all right. And while I was going over to tell him, there was another person that fell and began to roll this way. And they had a person rolling this way and a person rolling this way. And they never hit each other. But wonderful things happened in that service that night. One, one number one, they began to dance before the Lord in that last three nights of it. And just wonderful worship that came forth. And God did great things. Two years ago, I went back. And he called all of those people, the teenagers that were there then, to come back and uh, their church has grown now to how many a few, uh, a few thousand people but it's big and have lots of young people but those that were there 15 years ago they called them those that were on the mission field he called them and called them to come home for that meeting when I came and on that night they all came well, not all of them but those that could come they came from different places amongst the world where they were doing missionaries. And they came with their wives, and they came with their children. And they came with the prophetic word that I gave them. They all had that prophetic word from the time that they were 15-year-old, and they brought it back. Wow. And, uh, and they w came to me and said, this is what you spoke to me, and this is where I'm working, this is where I'm a missionary. Now, it was just absolutely wonderful to go back and he was one of those and he's going to Korea yeah Korea I'm going to South Korea on uh, Saturday 21st yeah. and he's worked in Kyrgyzstan and China and I don't know where all he's been but God bless you hallelujah it's almost time five minutes how many of you got that envelope got your money in it let's come and lay it right down here Sister Maeve, can you just go up there and stand and uh, let them just lay it on at your feet? Where's Brother Russ? Brother Russ, come on and just stand up here. Brother Joshua. <laughs> Don't let me forget to give that to Brother Joshua. And in my Bible, I got some, something else for him. Brother Joshua, I am so delighted that you're here. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? Could you just go play something wonderful while they're going out? <laughs> just one more time. Come on and let's come down and give our offering. Be blessing of the Lord. If you have any kind of offering, whether it be $10, $5, $15, $100, $1,000, $1, let's come and bless this place in Jesus' wonderful and glorious name.
Well, I thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. I thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. He's my comforter, my helper. On him I do depend. I thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. He's my comforter, my helper. On him I do depend. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. There's no more bondage. Now I'm free from the enemy Whom the Son sets free Is free indeed No more bondage Just glorious liberty Thank you Lord For the Holy Ghost Thank you Lord for the Holy Ghost He's my comforter, my helper On Him I do depend Thank you, Lord For the Holy Ghost